Morning all, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a shock this morning, I uploaded a video last night and I went on YouTube studio to create a thumbnail picture for it because it was late last night when it went up and uh, noticed that it said something like copyright or something like that on my video and I'm like what's all that about? So I did some research this morning and discovered um, that actually four of my videos have got this copyright notice on. Two really old ones. One done a few years back. Um, and then one from yesterday. And what it is, is music. Um, the two old ones years ago, it's basically just some guitar strumming that was uh, uploaded from Viva Video app on Google and they're saying there's copyright on it. So I've messaged them this morning and I said, well, I've got it off this app and um, that app is approved by Google Play Store and Google owns YouTube. So if anyone's broke copyright, it's Google. Um, the other one, sorry, that was using the same piece of music on two videos. The other video, when I was at the Bear Grylls survival race at London, in the background, there was Oasis playing on a public radio. And I said, on that one, I commented, because uh, I didn't want to take it down. Um, I commented and said, that was on a public radio. I did not put that music on myself. I can't take it off because I didn't put it on myself. Um, and I don't want to cut that part out of the clip because it gives you that option. So I says, can I, you know, I didn't do that. It wasn't my fault sort of thing. It was in a public area, public radio. Can I keep the film up because it's memories, things I've done. And then yesterday it picked up some R&B crap or something like that from when I was in the sports bike shop, they had a radio playing and it picked up a little clip and identified the music as belonging to somebody. So I wrote to them as well, I wrote to it and I said, look, I ain't put the music on. I'm just videoing in the shop who's playing a radio to show you what's in the shop. I have not put that audio on. They can tell that. But I think, if my channel was monetized, basically I earn money on it, which I don't, because I don't have adverts or anything like that. I just put this up for my enjoyment and for memories, to have a video log for my family to look back on what dad did. Um, yeah, I think that the idea is that if you was monetized, you'd have to then pay them to be able to have that little sound clip on your video. But I didn't put it on there. So, uh, so I'm just waiting to find out what's going to happen with those because apparently I'll learn something else as well. There's some kind of copyright thing where basically you get, I forgot what it's called, but you get three strikes and they remove your entire videos off YouTube. You're never allowed to create a channel again. And it's pretty bad if you enjoy doing these videos and putting it up so I think somebody ought to create another another YouTube and call it my life if I was smart and did computers I'd do that I'd create another channel um, sharing platform and, and call it my life and everybody be able to do exactly the same as YouTube put the videos up make some art on it and, and have fun so this, this video is just to explain that and I'll put some photos in as well of the things that I'm on about. So now when I'm recording, I'll just have to be careful where I'm recording, not to be recording in places that's playing music at all, or even in public places. You know, I could, I could be recording like a bike event Somebody might drive by with some music blasting out and it'll pick that up and say, that's copyright. It's a load of bollocks. Well, 
that's where it is. I don't know how many other channels have had the same problem. I don't know. Right, take care. I'll see you on the next one. I'm enjoying the forest. Hopefully, my next video might be a motorcycle one, but it's more likely going to be a family woodland camping video because I'm going camping at the weekend with my son. So, see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.